see what is the name of that service again for buying recommended car okay thank you carlos yep auto advisors yeah definitely look that up listen my mom went to go get a car 2017 hyundai tucson spent four hours at the dealership and closed on uh it's a lease 398 a month okay not terrible we had a GMC terrain that we were leasing and we were going over on the miles. So we just had to get out of it, right? So we were paying 437 on that. And now with a Hyundai Tucson, paying 398. Okay. This was before I knew how to buy a car. The very next week, there was a, uh, a car buying seminar going on at my job. And the people that were putting it on were the people from my credit union that I had a line of credit with. I was like, is this a, a message from God that I need to, uh, you know, get me a get me a whip? Right. So I go to this car buying seminar. I sit in it. I get my mind blown. Right. I thought I was learning velocity banking all over again. They were giving these awesome concepts on how car buying works and how the dealership works and all this stuff. Basically, I call up auto advisors the next day. I'm like, look, I need a car for myself. At the time, I was sharing the car with my mom. And I had just became a manager uh, at the job that I was at. So I was like, I need to be dedicated. You know, I need to make sure I'm on time. You know, I don't, I don't have car issues. So got myself a car. I walked into that same dealership, right? But you know how when you go to the dealerships where the strips, where it's like a bunch of different dealers, okay? My mom went into Hyundai, right? But this is so weird. Auto Advisors put me with uh, uh, Subaru, I think it was, or, or Mitsubishi. So I went in there, but I told them I wanted a Hyundai, right? What was cool is that they sell all the cars. On the lot right so I'm in there I might have spoke to these guys for 20 minutes they got me the car I wanted I test drove it we came back I said I like the car I want the car here's my budget I told them my budget was 200 a month and I had two grand to put down what can you do for me they ran my credit listen my credit was that six 31 I was in I was in like maybe tier four tier three like not not good right listen to this ready I I am the primary owner on mom's vehicle right so and that was literally a month apart so my credit score was down because I just got a car under my name and now here I am trying to get another car 631 credit score I got my auto advisor right next to me doing all the talking. I'm like, listen, hey, whack him if he doesn't make a deal, okay? Because I, I need this car. So he's like, you know how they put you on ice? They go back, right? Came back. All they said was, look, we'll do the deal. I, I was like, I was like, what? We'll do the, do the deal. Like, I, I thought I was going to get a nine, right? They, they put me from tier three or tier four. They bumped me up to tier two, okay, which people, you, you know, to get to tier two, you have to have at least like a 680 or 670. They gave me the car at 200 bucks a month, and I put an additional $250 extra on top of the 2000 So I put 2250 down, paying 200 a month, 12,000 miles. I, they took off registration, title, tags, fees, nothing. I didn't pay nothing. I gave him my 2250 I walked out the door with the car. I said, thank you very much. I signed a couple papers out the door. Yo, that was a one hour. I was like, I, I, I thought I was buying an Xbox. Like I was in and out, in and out, right? Amazing. So if anyone's looking at buying a car and you want to do velocity banking with it, Listen, pull from the HELOC, get the car, pay yourself back, keep, keep things going. So this is a really cool example of how we can do velocity banking 
and still buy things and still get things and still live a life and still invest in ourselves to to improve our you know our income things like that 